I honestly think I blacked out. Oh my gosh, the stupid beam of light. Hello? Hello besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. We're going to be organizing my bookshelves in this video. We just moved, so we have like a full reset moment ahead of us. The empty bookshelves are here. We also have a second set of bookshelves that we're working with in this video. My books have been very sad. They haven't been placed in their new home yet. The first step we're going to do is actually go to TJ Maxx and home goods because I want to get a couple other like knickknacks for the bookshelves if I can find cute bookends as well that is on the list we're going for kind of a light academia very like girly pop type vibe and then this is the other set of bookshelves that we have to style as well I think I blacked out. They had so many incredible things. So we're gonna go through a little bit of a haul. The first thing I wanted to show you though that I didn't get from TJ Maxx or Home Goods, not bookshelf related. It's just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. They're called butter bells and you can like keep your butter on the counter in these things. Let me take the packaging off. But we're about to go through so much cute glassware that I got at Home Goods and TJ Maxx that I figured this fits pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna have to wash it because there's all like styrofoam pieces all over it, but look how stinking cute this is! It has little blueberries all over it. It's called a butter bell because you put your butter in here and you put like just water, a little bit of water on the bottom, and then you can keep your butter on the counter and it like stays nice. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. The other thing I got that's not bookshelf related, I got these cute little roses to go on the countertop because like I mentioned, the kind of like theme that I'm going for is light academia mixed with coquette vibes and very like pops of girly things. First thing I picked up, which you would have seen is this little picture frame, which is so cute. I have some fan arty prints that I got off of Etsy, like bookish art prints. And so I figured it would be really cute. I would have to cut it in a circle. So we'll see how well I do with that. I got this box for bookmarks. It's kind of the perfect size. I'm hoping if I could have screamed in the store, I actually would have. So I got this adorable teacup because teacup is so coquette. Look at the detailing. It's just little flowers. It's very, very floral. Then I got Actually, this isn't for my bookshelves, but it's so cute. I could not get it. I have been looking for a tray like this and I love the gold stand and how detailed it is. And then it's a marble tray. It's actually really heavy. I'm gonna put my perfumes on this, on my dresser in the bedroom. Teehee, not me saying that I say don't task. This is gorgeous and stunning. It's a little bit bigger than what I wanted. However, it is the prettiest teapot. Look at this detailing. It's so pretty teapots teacups with saucers it's giving coquette it's also giving light academia because we need our tea as we're reading our books it was gorgeous and even though this one is blue detailing and this one is pink they were very similar what do you call this like illustration styles paint styles detailing styles and so i figured that they would go really cutie together and i think the rest of these are candles they had gorgeous like crystally type candles so i got this pink one. Oh my gosh she's so pretty she smells very floral 
fig and magnolia and then i wanted to get her smaller sister that's clear so this is the same thing it's like just super detailed it's giving very crystally this one is leather sandalwood they had that candle that was vintage book smelling and i was like this is absolutely giving like light academia but it did not smell good and then this last candle is one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen in my whole life so another very like crystally candle she's botanical smelling because she has real flowers in the wax i'm never burning this i'm keeping it forever i'm a little undecided if this is actually going to go on the bookshelves or if it's going to go next to this with my perfumes on my dresser so we we have options y'all we have options we need to start decorating these bookshelves first things first i need to wipe these suckers down i'm gonna take all of these books off the shelves and just like wipe everything because it gets dusty and like during the move and stuff so that's gonna be step one now i think what i'm gonna do is take out my books and make some like tentative piles of shelves that i want to do my plan for these two is to have them be all of my fantasy books like fantasy and fantasy romance and then those other bookshelves in the other room are going to be my other genres so contemporary romance horror and thriller are mostly going to be on those smaller shelves Tentatively, this is what we're deciding. This shelf is going to be my YA shelf. So YA fantasy and YA fantasy romance. I think that'll work out pretty nicely. There are so many more books over here. This is my adult fantasy and adult romanticy shelf. I still have a couple more books to add on here. We also need to have all of our SJM books represented. So we'll see how well I can organize these to make them all fit. That's the one thing I'm a little bit nervous about. figure out which one of these art prints I want to go into this picture frame they're both like pretty big so I will have to cut quite a bit but I think I'm leaning more towards the Caraval print because it's a YA romanticy and this is the YA shelf so I'm leaning more towards this one but I'm very undecided they're looking okay we have like some finishing touches that we need to do this shelf is probably my favorite of the two right now but the things that are really bothering me are the color palette and the fact that these are not all the same size i need to figure out a better way to organize these these are so colorful 
these are white these are very dark and then I have a ton of reds and I just can't figure out I'm not gonna leave it like this because this color palette is really bothering me also I love the bridge kingdom and the trader queen this is kind of an adult fantasy but it doesn't have any like true spice in it so I did put it on this shelf however I'm not a fan of these colors interacting on this shelf so these are questionable as well I'm not mad at this one I'm pretty happy with this these are the books that I'm selling on Pango and then down here is just kind of nice because they're all the same height and then I put the stenciled edges for daughter of the moon goddess out and then this is the fairy loot edition of the stardust thief because it also has very pretty stenciled edges i might move some of these around a little bit because like these bright colors might go better with these i'm still playing around with this one okay i just moved these around a little bit and i think that that looks a bit better we'll see then on this side these are my throne of glass books this is going to be for my chunkier fantasies I still have yet to read a day of fallen night but I will be soon Empire of the Damned is coming out next month so I'm gonna put that up there over time this is gonna fill in really nicely with books like all around this side size definitely like chunkier ones this is the Sarah J Mass shelf. I threw this on here even though I'm currently reading her because I just wanted to see how it was going to look. I do have a little bit of a space here that is really annoying me. I'm not mad at it. I think she looks cutie. This shelf I'm fairly undecided about. Then down here is the Carissa Broadbent shelf pretty much. She takes up like half of it. Then we have Fourth Wing, Iron Flame. I do want to get the rest of the Song of the Marked books, so that will kind of fill in over here. And then I just threw in The Last Wish because I didn't have anywhere else to put this. I will say I want to get like maybe one more knickknack to go up here because that shelf is definitely more knickknacky than this one. And I do want them to be more balanced, but she's okay so far. Okay, now onto these shelves. So these, like I mentioned, are going to be all of my other genres because I have, as you saw, the majority like fantasy, YA fantasy, all of that fun stuff. This is going to be horror and thriller. I do have a stack of classics right here. My contemporary romances. And then I have a lot of like lit fic books. So I think I have enough shelves for each of the different genres. And then I want to display my Magnolia Parks books over here somewhere. And I'm trying to figure out where is the best way to display them because they're just so beautiful. Hear me out. I went back. <laughs> it's a couple days later. One of the shelves is much more cutie and knickknacky than the other one, and so I just wanted to get like a couple more things to even it out, and then we will do the final reveal, I guess, of the bookshelves. So the one thing that we were missing to make this truly academia-esque is a globe, and this one has like a marble base. It is just absolutely adorable. And then I also got this this marble bookend that is just the prettiest and cutest thing in the whole wide world just finding that you know not all of my shelves are filled completely and my books tend to kind of just fall to the side and also at the most inopportune times they scare me every time they fall down so this will be very beneficial i'm going to take the stickers off
And that is the video, friends. I had so much fun filming this, and I don't think I've ever been in love with my bookshelves more than I am right now. So I hope that you enjoyed, friends. If you did, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a stack of books in the comments. If you want to let me know that you made it this far, I will catch you in the comments, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.